Yo guys, welcome to a brand new video today, of course, being Sunday in the morning, we have a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I really hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas period with your family and or friends. I uh, hope it was great for you. hope you guys got some dope presents and had a great time, really. Um, I'm glad to see a lot of you guys in the comments saying you got some dope stuff for Christmas last week, so that is pretty dope. Uh, to get into this video, before we get into it, I want to talk to you guys about how to actually get featured because I keep getting uh, tweets and comments asking sort of how to get featured. So I'm going to give you the total layover right now. Now I actually posted a video onto my second channel, link to this video in the description, uh, showing you guys how to take a screenshot and tweet it from your PlayStation because most of you guys are PlayStation um, and I'll do one for Xbox on the second channel sometime next week. Uh, but to talk to you guys basically how to get featured, send a HD screenshot or two depending on if you play with a different formation in game uh, to me on Twitter. Now don't at me, use the hashtag it's Haber because the hashtag allows me to directly search for the, those pictures and those tweets without them getting flooded by loads of different notifications from different tweets and different likes and stuff like that. Um, so send me those uh, pictures with the hashtag it's Haber and give me sort of a description of your team. How many coins have you got? Who's tradable? Who's untradable? Uh, and just sort of anything and everything you think that you need to tell me in order for me to sort of get a good assessment of your team. Um, and in terms of when to sort of submit them, I tweet out uh, a good 10 or 15 minutes before I record the episodes. Uh, you'll see here, um, I tweeted out this uh, 13 minutes ago where I said, recording your I rate your teams in 10 minutes. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter to be notified when I uh, basically record these episodes. Anyway, now that's all done, uh, I wanted to quickly cover that before. Let's get straight into it and start off with Squizzy's team. Uh, I have 50 to 150k when stuff sells. All untradeable except Griezmann, Neymar, Ben Yedder, and Sizoko. Much love. A. Hey, much love to you, dude. Uh, let's check out these teams. So I'm guessing this is what you play in game. This is what you start with. And this is, uh, again, what you play in game. I think you sent me the same screenshot twice. So you're starting with this. You've got, obviously, the strong link to long lay. You've got De Stegen and Gold, good goalkeeper. Um, you've got Allen, who's great. Sizoko, who's great. With 150 to 200k, did you say? Oh, sorry, 50 to 150k when things sell. What would I do with this team? Um... Hey, I mean, I say it every time, I'm not the biggest fan of Griezmann, but each of their own, if you like Griezmann, that is completely fair enough, you guys use Griezmann. Uh, what I would personally look towards, apologies, uh, <laughs> sorry for the interruption, my Prime Now order just came. Uh, where were we? Anyway, where I would look to improve with this team is possibly either your, your left striker or your right striker, really. Uh, in terms of Griezmann, obviously works well with chemistry, so might be not the first person to actually work towards replacing. I would maybe look at Ben Yedder. Now, there's a few different options you can go with. Uh, obviously, Ben Yedder's got an inform card you could possibly replace him with. Uh, given the links, only a French striker from Ligue 1 or an icon would work in, in terms of, of replacing it. Or I guess a Brazilian striker from uh, La Liga, but I don't think there actually is any this year. What I would look to do is either... I'm going to give you like a couple of options you possibly could do. The first thing you could do is save towards Mbappe. Now, Mbappe is 740k right now. If you get 150k, given that you're selling things, I'm guessing that you are maybe quite inquisitive with the market. I truthfully believe you can get from 150k to 740k within a week. Um, I think you're guaranteed at least 100k from rewards if you play to rank 1 in Div Rivals and you play to at least Gold 3 in Foot Champs because rank 1 in Rivals gives you anywhere from 50 to 60k um, in, in sort of anywhere from I think Div 5 onwards. Uh, and then uh, Gold 3 gives you at least 30,000 coins. And if you play to further than that, you get even more. That's at least 100k from rewards right there, right there. And then just sort of, you know, if you get lucky um, in the packs, you could make more than 100k because uh, consumable values and stuff like that take it over 100k. The, the sort of the 50, 60k plus 30k plus whatever players you get, consumable stuff like that. That's where I'm actually uh, gauging that many coins. Um, that already puts you on over 250k. Uh, I would then sort of look to maybe trade and stuff like that. I think with certain methods, you can get from, say, 250k to, to 500k within a day or two. I really do. I, I watch other traders. Uh, I live with uh, a trader. And, and, and the trading methods this year are actually quite OP. Uh, it's definitely possible to do. Um, or you could alternatively go with Ben Yedder's Inform card. This one would actually, you get to pretty uh, pretty quickly. Um, I think this one's only about 300. Oh, it's, it's gone up to 410k. He's got an Inform over here that's 100 187k or you can go with 410k for a second inform um both options are definitely great options and great improvements to your team at the moment with, with 150k 
maybe going with Varane might improve your defense, but not massively because I actually really like Longley this year. Um, so I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably just go for improving Ben Yedda so far. And then once you've improved Ben Yedda, save up to maybe improve uh, to Kante uh, or Inform Allen or, or, or like I said, Varane maybe for Diego Carlos, who won't even be a massive upgrade to be honest. So, but it's a nice team. It's definitely solid. Um, Next one coming from Xbox, Mr. Williams. So I'm guessing he's on Xbox. So I'm going to look at Xbox prices. You guys keep telling me in the comments to look at Xbox prices. The reason I look at PlayStation is mainly because PlayStation is actually higher than Xbox. So if I tell you to get someone that, say you've got 100k on Xbox, and I tell you to get someone that's 80k on PlayStation, the likelihood is only 70k on Xbox. So it kind of works out. Uh, anyway, he says, got 70,000 coins to spend. Kante, Guardiola, Vardy, Trossard, De Gea, Oxlade, Chamberlain, and the whole bench are untradeable. Gomez is meant to be Sanchez. Uh, the second is in game. Love the vids. Oh, I appreciate the support, man. Thank you very much, dude. So, so Gomez is supposed to be Davinson Sanchez. Um, what would I do with this team? It's a good question. Um, this is a nice team. I like I like the structure of this team. That Trossard cards ripped me apart this weekend. He absolutely destroyed me. That Oxlade Chamberlain looks really good. Uh, I respect that you're a grinder. You've grinded towards Politano, Trossard, Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, you know, I respect that. I really do. What would I do with this team personally? I would probably look to upgrade Chilwell. I actually think uh, Robertson would be a better better player than Chilwell. And I think you can actually afford, if I'm not mistaken, you can afford uh, the team of the year nominee, Robertson, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, just under. He's 98k on Xbox, unfortunately, and 80k on PlayStation. Um, so you're just a bit off. Maybe going with normal Robertson uh, until you can afford the extra sort of 20, 30k, uh, which is maybe just one weekend league. Uh, and then getting the team of the year nominee, Robertson, at left back. Aside from that, I'd keep the team pretty similar to what it is then. Uh, obviously, next upgrades are going to be people like Kevin De Bruyne, um, people like like uh, Van Dyke, for example, um, and then maybe like a, 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 a Bamiyang or, or a special version of a striker, maybe go with Aguero, Scream Aguero, something like that. Far in the future, that is. Um, you can maybe work on on going with, on the right-hand side here, you can you maybe work on getting a Messi in there with, a, uh, what's his face, with Nelson Semedo. There's a load of different options you can go with um, in, the, in the far future with this team but I'd say I'd say definitely upgrading Chilwell to Robertson in fact the value of Chilwell if he's not untradeable um, which he isn't will actually take you to the team of the anomaly Robertson who I think is a, a big improvement in your squad uh, it's a nice squad though uh, Kent has got to be on the bench not reserves bro replace Gedson Martins with Kent Trust me, bro. Kent is unreal. He is a cheat code this year. The next one is from Key and Southern. Uh, I know I was on the other week, but I need your opinion on what to do with icon swaps. I have two options on what to do. One is do Zambrotta and play in left back and Hierro uh, for Gomez. Or the second one is SCM for Wijnaldum. I also have 550k uh, if you think an upgrade is needed. Okay, I would say... Best option for you for icon swaps is Hierro uh, over uh, Gomez. Definitely, 110%. I would then get um, uh, Hernandez. Is it Hernandez? I just need to double check how many tokens Hernandez is. I believe Footbin actually have the SBCs on here. Um, how many tokens is Luis Hernandez? Oh, he's 19. You can't get Hernandez and um, and uh, and Hierro. That's actually really irritating because I would have said go with Hernandez. Um, I mean, you could possibly go with Lineker. There's a few different striking options. Uh, unfortunately, you can't get Hernandez, which is actually, it's actually upset me a little bit because that would have been perfect for your squad. Um, in terms of striker options, Raul is a good shout. You could definitely go with Raul. Uh, I would say upgrade uh, Werner to Raul and uh, left centre back here. Right, I would definitely go with Hierro. I think that's a definite shout. You can actually get him pretty quickly. Obviously, the six tokens are already out for him. Um, and if you have tokens left over, which I don't think you'll have enough, but if you have enough to get Zambrotta, it doesn't hurt getting him for free. Uh, obviously, it does. Uh, you, you have to invest time, but it doesn't harm getting. A, it doesn't hurt getting an icon for free. So you might as well do him if you if you have tokens left over. Um, but that's a really solid squad in terms of upgrades for 550k. For the time being, until you can get, obviously, the icons and stuff like that, uh, I would upgrade your striker. With 550k, realistically, you can get a whole lot of different plays. Inform Ben Yedder is a shout. Um, Aguero, Abamyang, all good shouts. Uh, a lot of people like Griezmann this year. I personally don't, but if you do like Griezmann, he's a good shout. Uh, there's a whole lot of different strikers. Obviously, with the two icons, you can literally get anyone at striker. You have this amazing ability to go with any striker this year. Um, so if we, if we quickly put in, you are on Xbox... Uh, I'm going to put in a PlayStation price because I don't know how to change it on Footbin. Um, but we'll have a look at PlayStation prices. Obviously, you are on Xbox, though. Um, you can go with 91 Shearer, 91 Trezeguet, 91 Van Basten. Um, you can also go with, with 91 Harry Kane. 
Um, there's a lot of amazing options here, actually, that you can definitely go with. Um, you know, you can go with Lineker, Closer, Baggio, Ian Wright. Ian Wright wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, Ian Rush, Hugo Sanchez, who actually doesn't look bad, bar his composure. Apparently, Inform Sadio Mane is, wow, you could, this card would be unreal. I think this would be a definite shout for you to get Inform Sadio Mane over there uh, at, at Striker. Uh, instead of Werner with 550k, this is definitely an amazing shout. Um, so yeah, there's a whole host of different opportunities there. This is a very nice team. I like it a lot. And, and I hope that you make some great improvements. The next one is from 11 in a row. Only Werner and Hernandez are tradable. Yikes, that's a, that's a lot of untradeables. I have 50k and I will save for your suggestions. Love the videos, keep up the good work. Up the foxes. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, I, I you guys, this man's playing Benzema at CDM. What? Okay then. Well, I was about to, to start my train of thought and I lost it again. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, uh, you guys know I'm, I, I'm from Leicester. I used to live in Leicester my entire life. I don't support Leicester. But I do like Leicester. Leicester are great. I do like them. Anyway, on to your team now. I would, first of all, look to replace Benzema straight away. How much is Modric? I, I see you're on Xbox, so I'm going to look for your Xbox prices. How much is just normal Modric? 43k, right there. Replace Benzema with normal Modric, please. I see you've got players on the bench. Maybe you bring on Tagliafico at left CDM. That's definitely possible. However... Start Modric, bro. You don't want to be missing out on, on, on goals because you've got a striker at CDM, you know? You don't want to be uh, leaking goals is what I'm trying to say. I would then look to improve your striker. Uh, I see that you've got Baby Cliver. Now, I'd actually play Baby Cliver at striker and at Cam. I would probably go with that, that that Philip Coutinho you got on the bench over here. I would actually play him as a left forward off chemistry. I, I'd play him as a, I'd play him on, uh, on, I believe he'll be on seven chem. I think he'll play better as a cam on 7 chem than Clivert will on full chem. And I think Clivert will play better as striker than Werner. So I'd say go with Clivert up top and that, use that with Philip Coutinho as a 7 chem cam. I would then look to save up to improve uh, this Umtiti over here. I would replace him with either Raphael Varane or Longley, whichever you achieve first. I'm guessing Longley, um, which I think are all decent, decent improvements. Um, and as I guess looking at this team, what you could do realistically, actually, now that I think about it, is... You could even put, you can move Clive out up to striker and then get your Tolisso and put him at centre mid and start Tolisso to CDM. That's also a good shout. Uh, but no, this team's actually quite, pretty cool though. Just very confusing why you're playing Benzema at CDM. That's definitely very confusing. Um, next team, ne next team, next team coming from David Jerchauer. I can't stand using John Barnes and I really want to get the ones to watch Ben Yedder in my team. If I sold Barnes, I could get close to 380k. Untradables are Militao, Mendy, Big Shaq. Uh, Vardy, Griezmann, and Pep. I'm okay with changing formation and selling anyone that is tradable. Okay. I, 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 as a Man United fan, I do find it funny that you hate Barnes so much. I'm, I just like, yeah, I guess it's just my immature humor. Um, I like this actually over here. I know he's playing off chemistry, but I kind of like that over here with you playing, um, with you playing uh, an off chem right back. I'm not a big fan of you playing big Shaq off chem though. A really easy thing you can do is, is start in the 4 3 3 3. Essentially, that'll make De Jong and, and Guardiola two CDMs. That relinquishes the link over here with, with Shakiri to your right back. And in fact, uh, that will mean that. that uh, Griezmann starts on full chemistry as well because he's not a centre-minute cam. Um, and that will uh, that will basically just put everybody on full cam by a right-back who is close to full cam but not quite there. Um, what else would I do with this team? Like you said, you want to sell John Barnes? Very easy thing you can do here is, is obviously by selling John Barnes. If you switch to a 4-3-3-3, you can use any Premier League English left wing um, and, and he'll get full chemistry. I believe Sterling has a special card. Uh, let's have a look at Sterling's left wing card. He has a team of the tournament at left wing. 174k for this card. The card actually looks really good as well. Uh, you can play him at left wing, and in the 4-3-3-3, he won't get a link with Furlan Mendy. I'm not entirely sure about getting the ones to watch Ben Yedder, to be honest. I mean, I don't like Jamie Vardy, don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of him, but I think he kind of holds the team together right now, and I think getting that Ben Yedder will kind of mess up chemistry quite a lot for you. Um, so if you're, if you're really desperate on getting him, you're like, you really set on getting him, I guess you could, you could go with Ben Yedder and then get, um, sort of a French left wing. Um, but I would say keep the team right now and just make the improvements I've made personally. I like your use of special cards and SBC cards though. I really do. Uh, you've got some good plays on the bench as well. So I respect it. I really do. I respect the team. Uh, the next one is coming from Mitchell. I have 300k. Owen plus bench slash Christmas cards are untradeable. Play the same in game. All right, let's check it out. 300,000 coins and you're using 
Okay, all right. First things first. Let's make some adjustments to this team. Uh, I would actually, I was going to say replace Joe Gomez. I think you hold on. I'm hearing rumors of, of EA re-releasing um, the, the UCL road to the final Joe Gomez SBC. So I would actually stay liquid. Uh, and I would wait for that potential re-release. And if that card gets re-released, definitely do it because that card will be nuts for the rest of the game. Upgrade after upgrade, he's going to become better and better and better. He's already really OP and he's just going to get better and better and better and better. So I would stay liquid for that SBC potentially coming out. Uh, and if it doesn't come out, then I would say replacing Joe Gomez. By the time that SBC does, do, doesn't come out, you might actually be quite close to a Van Dyke. I haven't actually tracked his price recently. So let me actually have a, a quick look at normal Van Dyke's price right now. Yeah, he's about 400k, so you could easily make 100k in between that time, and if if uh, Joe Gomez does not get uh, an SBC, I would just buy normal Van Dyke. He would be insane for you. Um, and then I keep pretty much everything else the same. I'm not entirely sure about Deli Alec Cam. Um, I guess you could look towards maybe selling him and getting De Bruyne at Cam, but aside from that, I think that's that's pretty nitpicky, really. I think the rest of the team's actually really solid. How is that Michael Owen? I'd love to hear that, because he looks like a very good player. Uh, the next one's from Little Man Steph, who I'm glad has actually made it onto this series, because he's always in the streams, he's always showing love on the videos. Uh, I really do appreciate you, Steph. Uh, I always see you e literally everywhere, so I'm, I'm a big fan, man. Uh, he says, Hi, bro. Have 160k to spend. My Incredibles are Gerard, Messi, and the whole bench. Play the same formation in game. Love the videos. Keep up the good work. He's got a red Messi. GG. I know the feeling of getting untradeable Messi, but that is sick. Imagine him popping in a red player pick. I mean, mine popped in a player pick, to be fair, so I can't really say that. Imagine it when I actually know what it feels like. Uh, anyway, you've got 160,000 coins to spend. What would I do with this team? I would... Mm, good question, actually. I was going to say get long late, but that doesn't really work, does it? Um, I guess what you could potentially do here... Ooh, this is a good question. Let me have a look at some prices real quick for some players. Um, let me have a quick look. So 195 there. Um, what else am I looking at? Long lay. Long lay is 36k. Okay, this is a bit out of your budget, but I think you can work towards it. I would get long lay at left centre back um, when you could afford the rest of this. I would then put the Robertson you have on the bench at left back, and I would get Mane as your left mid. Alternatively, what you could do is you could probably be closer to affording this is if you get Mane left mid, Longley left centre back and get Furlan Mendy at left back. But I would say use a player you've already got, which is obviously Robertson. Um, and the rest of that team, I think is really solid. So yeah, it's a definitely a great team. I'm glad you made it on the episode, Steph. I appreciate you, man. Um, the next one is from Donks. You said I've got 137k. Untradeables are Mata, Vardy, Vidal, PK and the whole bench. Thinking of getting a Hierro from swaps. What do I think? Okay. I know you guys are like, oh, when he says it's all, it's blurry, stuff like that. It really isn't. You guys don't see it on the screen that I see it on. This is incredibly blurry for me. Like, this is, like, really fuzzy. It's messing with my eyes, actually. Um, but what I would say with this team, as far as I can see it, because it's really hurting my eyes, I like the use of that Vidal. Um, it hurts my eyes to open it, but I guess I'm going to have to open it to have a look at it. I would say get rid of Vardy, and I would bring in... Uh, I think I'd bring in De Bruyne if you could afford him. Um, I don't know if you can afford him or not. Let me double check how much his price is. Because a lot of people have dropped recently. Okay, he's 182k. You've got 137k. I would work towards getting De Bruyne. If you really can't wait, I would maybe go with Ericsson. Um, who's a much cheaper, excuse me, much cheaper option. But I would say uh, get De Bruyne. Next one coming from Charlie Smith Dawson. I've got 125,000 coins. My whole team and bench is untradeable apart from Griezmann, Grimaldo and De Jong. Is there anyone that you would recommend uh, I buy now or save up for? Again, I don't know why the, 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 the screenshots are so blurry. Let me open it in a new tab and see if it's just Twitter. No, it's not, unfortunately. It's, it's just a 720p screenshot trying to enlarge into 4K. Um, what would I do with this team? So 125k, whole team and bench is untradeable apart from Griezmann, Grinamado and De Jong. Is there anyone you'd recommend to buy now or save up for? I would look to save up for probably a better... I mean, I actually like one matter. That's a lie. Uh, I would probably look to improve your Ryan Giggs over here. Um, obviously, he's an icon and he's holding this team together actually quite well. Uh, I would probably look to maybe get a baby Nedved, like saving up for him. Because uh, aside from that, I don't see much you can do with the squad. I mean, yeah, no, there isn't really much. You can't really get Mbappe on full chem here without getting an icon center back. I would possibly go with Hierro from icon swaps um, and Pires from icon swaps. 
I think that grind towards Icosops, get Hierro instead of Ramos, um, and then get Perez instead of uh, Ryan Giggs. Aside from that, I think the team is, is nice. Um, and I'm going to say this is the last one for this episode, uh, because I like to keep them around 20 minutes. Uh, obviously, we did a longer one for Christmas Day. If you guys are enjoying this series, please leave a like on the episodes. I really do appreciate that. Um, this one is from uh, P uh, Pepe Nelly. Almost said uh, uh, the wrong one then. Uh, got this team. Hazard is untradeable, as well as SBCs. Got 200k spare, hoping to reach Elite 2 from 3. Okay. All right, so you, you're getting Elite 3 the minute you look at it, reach Elite 2. Fair enough, you're getting Elite 3 with this team. That's, that's impressive. I just, for me in FIFA, I'm not getting it. I'm not I'm not progressing past Gold 2, Gold 1. I just, I, I can't, I can't close out the games. I'm not doing well enough. My attack isn't good enough. I'm losing the ball and attack too much. I'm not holding enough possession. Uh, I really need to sort of knuckle down and grind the game for a good three or four weeks. Just non-stop game after game after game in rivals. Learning, playing, adapting, improving to, to sort of get towards the Elite Three. I know what I need to do is just about doing it because this game does frustrate me a lot. But this team looks really nice in game. What would I do uh, with, you said you had 200k spare and you're going to reach Elite either. You're probably going to reach Elite Three. So let's say you have like 350, 400k spare come Thursday. I'm going to say you have about 400k. You could get really lucky and get even more than that. But to be to be pessimistic, I'd say 400k is pretty fair. I would say the best upgrade you could possibly make to this teammate, honestly, would be... Um yeah, I would say get Van Dyke over here. Actually, no. I tell a lie. Don't do that. Ignore that. Blah, 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 blah. Go past that. I would grind to get Hierro from Icon Swaps over here at right centre back. I would then go towards uh, getting, you can either go with a Spanish right back or a Bundesliga. Um, there's a lot of different options. You can pick which one you prefer. Uh, I'm not going to list off all the different options because like I said, like there's literally loads you can, you can go with. Uh, I think that'll improve your team drastically. I really do. Um, you could also just play Kyle Walker off Kem if you want to. That, that's also an opportunity. Or you can get Hierro, swap Hierro with PK and get Nelson Semedo. They're all great shouts, but I would say go with that. How's that Werner for you? That, that Werner card looks like it's pretty insane. And GG on the elite finishes, man. That is it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here. Thank you all for the epic support recently. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm very grateful that you guys are showing the support on the channel, whether it be on Twitch, whether it be on YouTube, anything like that. I'm very grateful. So thank you all for that. Uh, make sure you do subscribe, like I said. Send your teams in for the next episode, and I'll see you later.